Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel and LELP Society standing for Learn English to Live Better which is an online community to practice English academically and professionally in, in interaction with hundreds of uh, members uh, Okay, I'm Dr. Hariri, the uh, Chief Administrator and also Creator of LELP Society uh, so in this session I'm going to uh, teach you a vocabulary lesson uh, on the basis of the material uh, provided by one of the uh, one of the authors of LELB Society who is a native speaker from the USA uh, her name is Casey uh, you see the uh, profile photo of uh, this member as one of the team members of LELB Society and if you're interested you can also join our team uh, if you have some ex expertise and specialty such as actually uh, being an educator advertiser uh, commercial expert and uh, translator website developer and uh, uh, the like okay so the material as I said has been provided by Casey and uh, let me just show you the team members of LELB Society if you just go to the footer area you see contact LELB Society and if you just click on let me just show it to you yeah our team you see that LELB Society has uh, three team members so far and you could be uh, the fourth the fifth and uh, actually the N number so uh, here you see a uh, little bit society's team in alphabetic order so far so as I said Casey is one of the um, team members she's an native speaker as I said and um, her role is the author of articles and this is me Dr. Hariri creator and chief administrator of LLB society and this is Hajar uh, another member from Iran uh, with the role of uh, the assistant editor and also you can certainly join our team if you have any particular specialty okay back to the vocabulary and also reading comprehension lesson so let me zoom in as I said in this lesson you're going to practice a lot of vocabulary items phrases collocations and uh, uh, grammar points and you also your pr pronunciation can improve if you pay enough attention and uh, the topic is about the effect of coffee on your study skills study efforts and study preferences particularly in preparation for uh, for example final exams or entrance exams or standardized English tests such as IELTS and TOEFL so uh, and you're going to see a lot of uh, flashcards and I'm going to use my uh, photo dictionary uh, I'm sorry digital board uh, to which you are accustomed okay boost your study efforts with coffee exams are a stressful time at best at best means actually even when considered in the most positive way so in the best possible scenario ever means as at best but when you have difficulty studying pay attention have difficulty doing something this is the structure studying english the anxiety can become truly har harrowing means disturbing The average human's attention span is limited to only 14 minutes at a time. It means after that period of time, on average, you cannot pay enough attention or close attention to the things and you cannot be fully concentrated. Which can be especially worrying if you are a student preparing for exams because you need to prolong your attention span. While there are numerous or manifold for numerous you could say uh, manifold a lot of supplements available on the market that have the ability to enhance means increase or boost 
a student's studying effort, uh, a simple cup or two of freshly brewed coffee can also help improve focus while preparing for your assessments. Okay. Brew means to add the process of preparing, uh, let's say, hot drinks, including coffee, particularly coffee, and so that actually the nice and uh, potent smell of coffee just comes out and emits. According to uh, means uh, actually in accordance with or based on Michael Yasa, assistant professor. Who is, a, who is an assistant professor, an academic ranking immediately below an associate professor and above an instructor. We have a lecturer, instructor, assistant professor, associate professor, and full professor of psychological and brain studies at Johns Hopkins University. Coffee has many cognitive boosting properties or qualities. Cognitive boosting. Boosting means enhancing. qualities uh, which include uh, improved moods and enhanced memory okay coffee can boost your mental alertness and short-term memory okay we have different types of memory we have for example long-term memory short-term memory working memory we have procedural memory, we have declarative memory, photographic memory, and the like. Okay. The caffeine found in coffee acts as a stimulant that not only improves your alertness or awareness or consciousness, but your attention span, as I said, attention span on the little bit society, you are uh, able to just uh, review the definitions that are attributed to the words, the length of time that you can keep your thoughts and interest fixed on something. For example, children do not have a very high level of attention span, they get bored as well making it easier to memorize new words and phrases and recall or remember them at a later stage. This is extremely beneficial and advantageous when you have to read through numerous textbooks. Trying to make sense of means analyze and try to make a judgment on something and try to get the meaning of a plethora of grammatical terms. A plethora of means a lot of an abundance of particularly something that is countable our memories are divided into two sections short-term memory stm and long-term memory ltm as i explained as we already know caffeine helps to reduce fatigue fatigue means tiredness you cannot see the photo because actually i have zoomed in so fatigue means tiredness or exhaustion yeah uh, which helps our shorter memory to retain or keep retain means to keep okay information the noun form is retention okay if you are required, it means if you have to, to study for extended periods of time, a healthy dose of coffee can go a long way in keeping you alert and able to retain large amounts of information. Because actually this is something that you have to go through, to go through with when it comes to final examinations and uh, you need to cram, that is the word, cramming. When you cram for a test, it means that you uh, actually burn the uh, midnight oil. Burn the midnight oil. Or burn the candle at both ends. Burn the... It means you have to study, particularly late at night or even actually completely through night, 
uh, to study for the assigned materials for the exam which is not a good uh, let's say aspect of any education system uh, because generally you overlook the lengthy process of the term just stick to the uh, final uh, two or three days uh, or last two or three days uh, actually uh, of the uh, let's say term or semester which is ridiculous coffee can improve your mood okay uh, as we all know it is virtually or practically virtually impossible as you can see virtually means uh, practically so virtually impossible to study when you are in a bad mood scientists uh, have known for countless years that coffee can stimulate or encourage the release of dopamine dopamine is a neurotransmitter neurotransmitter yeah it's a chemical element or material particularly in our brain which is the uh, pleasure hormone or motivation hormone yeah uh, dopamine is responsible for producing the pleasant feelings of euphoria euphoria the state of being happy euphoric you the, the, the adjective form is euphoric euphoric so it means happy so euphoria means happiness particularly for short time short-lived they are often associated with drinking a freshly brewed cup of coffee first thing in the morning when you have been studying for a while means for a short period of time for a short period of time and you are feeling irritable and battling to concentrate it means that you you, you don't have enough concentration stop for a short coffee break a cup of coffee will stimulate your mood making it much easier to focus on the task at hand at hand means available at the moment something that should be dealt with okay be mindful of your doses mindful means attentive means uh, conscious okay so uh, uh, caffeine intake intake means consumption pay attention the, the stress is on the first syllable intake caffeine con intake can boost your overall study experience overall means general uh, yeah significantly but only when consumed in moderate doses so in English we say moderation is the key so you need to just uh, pay attention to the fact that you should not go to the extreme levels okay the more coffee you drink the less your body will respond to it in a positive way respond means answer okay so this is a structure very famous structure the plus uh, let's say um, a comparative uh, an adjective which is in the form of a comparative adjective let's say comparative adjective so comma the plus another comparative adjective adjective for example uh, the more money you earn uh, let me make a better example uh, the more the more you study the more uh, let's say uh, studious you are uh, the more successful you can be uh, in your studies by the way so 
Pay attention. As a matter of fact, this sentence does not have a very clear cut verb. So you don't have any verb here because actually two clauses have been linked to each other with the help of that comma and that structure then. So the more, for example, or even actually the less because the, uh, the important thing is all about that uh, comparative adjective form. So in a positive way, uh, so the less your body will respond to it in a positive way as you can build up resistance, tolerance, resistance, okay, to it. So if you could keep increasing your coffee consumption or intake, you may start to experience negative side effects. Side effects refers to some actually uh, aftermath or after effects of some drugs or medications that are not intended such as for example insomnia let me see if i can show it to you insomnia no the insomnia means lack of sleep okay insomnia digestive problems and even addiction when you are addicted to something it means that you have to just take uh, uh, take that material uh, for example some drugs and so you are addicted to them you you will become addicted to them it is also important to remember that caffeine affects people differently okay it has an influence on them differently well, well while it can boost or increase energy levels in one person it can make another another feel rather sluggish another person as a matter of fact feel rather sluggish sluggish means a slow slow and lethargic phlegmatic sluggish Leth lethargic phlegmatic idle okay so instead limit yourself to no more than 300 milligrams of caffeine a day in order to means with the purpose of doing something keep enjoying the maximum the highest level benefits of your favorite warm brew the opposite of maximum is minimum okay uh, whether you're studying for an English class uh, before that, let me just uh, show you the, uh, the before actually starting the last paragraph. Let me uh, explain about some services that I have added here in Elliott Society. First of all, as you know, there is a free English class, 100% free for everybody. Uh, on Elliott Society, you have uh, access to the information, and also there is a, a group class in IELTS for IELTS preparation, and that can be your private teacher and tutor the first session is free and also i have included a, a free chat room that is open uh, actually uh, uh, 30 minutes per day and you will have all uh, all the necessary information if you just click on that and this is uh, we're going to just uh, keep that chat room open for 30 minutes each day or let's say each night from 10 to 10 30 p.m and we will just um, of course this is a kind of uh, just text-based messaging not voice-based or anything like it's completely text-based and it's free for everybody uh, 30 minutes uh, each day and uh, so uh, you know, if you are really in uh, interested to improve your English uh, 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 let's say academically I really recommend this uh, chat room and uh, we can also uh, write your essays, articles, theses, dissertations, uh, thesis proposals, and uh, we have a professional team, so, uh, and also edit them if you have already written them. And you can just let us index your business as long as it is related to English and education, actually we can index it for other languages such as French, German, Spanish. Uh, so it is a free feature. And you can give free uh, lectures in English and I will make error correction. You, you can have all the necessary information there. You can join our forums and pose your questions. You can publish your English presentations, English, let's say, uh, articles as Casey has done, 
the article that I just uh, read uh, was not written or has not been written by me uh, Casey uh, who is a native speaker from the United States actually has been the uh, official author of that and you can advertise your business on LLB Society okay so let me just go back to the last paragraph okay whether you are studying for an English class class test or a huge exam make sure means ensure make certain be certain make sure uh, you give yourself enough time to prepare uh, as that will significantly decrease or minimize the pressure you need to put yourself under so decrease or reduce have a cup of coffee when you feel you need it uh, or take a couple of deep breaths it's not breathe pay attention the pronunciation is different this is breathe as a verb this is breath as a noun okay uh, and simply give it your best shot what does that mean it means actually do your best give it your best shot if you have paid attention class and stu studied accordingly means on the basis of that or actually in a way that is suitable or right for the situation or as a result of something and therefore correspondingly you are bound to means imminent likely to here in this context means imminent or likely to you're bound to get grades that you can be proud of all right so we come to the end of this vocabulary and reading comprehension uh, in preparation for IELTS and TOEFL uh, lessons I really hope that you enjoyed that and if so please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel because there are thousands of <laughs> to be honest uh, other videos just waiting for you uh, and uh, yeah that's it so let me just zoom out and on any of society as i said actually you can use our comment forms to leave your questions and comments so far we have over uh 2400 uh, 2400 uh, comments that is 2400 comments and uh which is increasing increasing day in day out and if you are willing to join our community and if you think that actually you are qualified and eligible enough to join LLB society as a growing online community as a pioneer community actually I'm open to cooperation and I'm willing to just uh, shake hands with you you know as long as it is uh, uh, actually a successful business and you can also earn money on LLB society so um, yeah that's it thank you thank you so much please subscribe to my youtube channel and have a great time thank you bye bye